Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from Agrimat Soft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to enter questionnaire data into SPSS. So the first step is actually to go to variable view. So you know from before maybe that in data view you can view the data or enter the data. But whenever you do not have any variables defined, you will first go to variable view and you start from there. So that you first, you should, um, you should define your variables. And then when you go to data view, you can enter those, um, enter data for those variables that you have defined. So I will start from the first row. I will define my first variable and i have a sample questionnaire in here but it does not have some um some things that that i see in most questionnaires okay so one of them is the gender are you male or female they ask you uh and you ask your questionnaires so first uh variable maybe should be gender I will define the name for the variable. Then as soon as I click on anywhere in here, you can see the, the other um, columns are uh, actually filled automatically. So the type is numeric. It's okay because I want to define numbers for each category. So I want to define one as male and two as female. Okay. So the width is okay, decimals is okay, and I go for values. I click on values and then I go for one for male. I click on add and then I go for two for female. I'm sorry. And I click add and I click okay. So now you can see it says one is male and three dots. It uh, summarized it. And then the others is okay. Also. So I've defined my first variable in here is the gender. So if I want to input my data, now I can go to data view and you can see the gender variable is defined in here. Type is numeric and measure is unknown. So I can go ahead and input my data. For example, the first questionnaire is that it was filled by a male. So I go enter one. The second questionnaire is filled by a female. So I go for two. The second one for a male. The third one. Uh, the third one for a male, the fourth one for a male. Okay, so I go ahead and enter them. But because I do not have any decimals in here, maybe I could just go ahead and make it zero so that in data view it's uh, better, it has a better view. So again, I go for variable view and I go for defining my next variable. Um, in, in the sample questionnaire that I have in here, um, it does not include age also. Uh, but, but I see that in a lot of questionnaires that they ask you how old are you? What age are you in? Um, and, and they define some categories. For example, are you in between 20 and 25, 25 to 30? And you just check, um, each, um, option that is right for you. So I want to go for age. Okay, I go for age and I define it as numeric also. And I, I do not want decimals in here also. I'm sorry, I just... Uh... Okay, I do not decimals for here also. And I do not want label and values in here should be, um, should be entered. Okay, so I've defined another variable as age, and whenever I go to data view, I should input the age number. So one of them is 12, the, the second one is 13, the, the third one is 14, for example, etc. So I should 
I should import my data for age in here. I do not have any categories anymore. So, um, let's get into the sample questionnaire. So, the first question in here is that approximately how long have you been using the internet? Less than a year, one to two years, three to four years, and five years or more. Okay, so in here you should pick a name for, uh, for the question. You should remember that you cannot make any spaces between the characters. So you should make a, um, a very summarized name. And you can make additional um, explanations in label cell. Okay, so in here I go for TN are representing maybe time for net or time in and then in label i will define it as time um maybe time passed on internet okay uh, and then the type is numeric also and the other settings are okay. So whenever I go to data view for time in, if I stop on this um, title, you can see the label, which is time passed on internet. So you just pick a name and then in label, you can make extra explanations. Don't worry that in the data view you do not remember what a name was was what for question uh, was uh for what quest question okay you can explain in the label so again time on net in here is um is categorized into four options so i have the first one as less than a year so i go to values and i put one label is less than a year i click add and then the second one is one to two years so i go for two one to two okay i go for one to two and then the third one is three to four and the next one is more than five okay yeah or it's five or more it's better Add. and then you click ok and then it's categorized also so in data um, view you cannot enter six for example seven okay you can okay it gets the number but you cannot analyze it you should enter numbers in categories that you have defined for example one which is less than a year or three which is three to four years okay and etc also in variable view i want to make the decimals to zero okay so so i get into the next question how often do you access the internet via a mobile phone from home so you have two uh, questions in here um i named the first one um access mobile okay access I, am i right is a fine access uh okay I, access mobile okay access access mobile is um the label should be how often access uh via mobile phone so how often access via mobile okay 
Then the values in here are also categories. So daily, monthly, weekly, never. So the first one is daily. Then two will be um, monthly or weekly. I, I, yeah. Monthly. Monthly. And three will be weekly. And four will be never. Okay, click OK. And I jump in the next question. Which of the following Web2 tools and Internet applications do you use on a regular basis in your studies or socially? In social networking, for example, Facebook, MySpace, or Twitter. Studies socially ne neither both. So you will define the other questions like that. So, for example, social networking. I will name it as social internet. Um, which of the following do you use in your study or socially? Um, and then the other ones as well. So the the the. The important note in here was that how you enter these uh, questions into your SPSS. The, the general rule is that you should um, just um, make each of these as numbers. You should convert all these informations to just numbers so that you can analyze them. But the other format is that you um, make another variable, which is, for example, um, extra explanations. Okay, the label will be extra explanation as text. Then what you will do here is that you define the type as a string and you make 50 as the limitation of characters the number of characters you click ok and then the um the you know um the point is that whenever you go to extra explanations you could you could just type in for example this is student did very well in final exams okay or or anything else or if this student um did not did not blah 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 or this one um seems to be um you know to be okay you can see for example this questionnaire questionnaire um does not seem reliable okay explanations like this um, then you can define it as a string and you just input those type of explanations so I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.